Hello everyone. Now, by now we have understood the component or patterns which we generally find in time series. And over here on this graph, we can clearly see that there are two patterns into it. One is seasonality and then the other one is trend. Okay. So if you just start building model on this particular data, that might turn out to be biased or maybe some sort of overfitting and something like that okay means the model may not turn out to be accurate because why here here the data is clearly showing as the time passes the number of passengers will increase no matter what right so the model will not give the correct output may not give the correct output okay so how to fix this kind of thing so before start to build the time series model we check out the suitability of the data how do we check the suitability of the data so for that we figure out a stationarity right how stationary the whether the data is stationary or not now you got a new keyword which is stationarity what does the stationarity mean let's understand that and then we will understand how to figure out whether the data is stationary or not so stationarity means simply if i put it in very simple layman term then it clearly it simply says i wouldn't say clearly or what it clearly says sorry it simply says that mean and variance or covariance or standard deviation of the dependent variable don't vary by the time what does that mean let's say that if we plot our data on this x and y axis and if we are getting this the data is completely hypothetical and if we get this kind of data this is stationary why because you see this mean it is traveling alongside the x axis which remain it's a straight line you are getting for the mean so that means the mean is remaining constant by the time x axis represents the time and y is representing the dependent variable whatever it is and now if you see the variance that is also traveling alongside the mean or x-axis so here we clearly see that the data is stationary now let me show you some more examples here i have taken some of the images which i have directly taken from the google this was very much suitable to explain it okay so the credit goes to google itself now here you see this is same as what we just saw right here you see stationary mean and stationary variance means here mean and variance both are stationary means both of these two things are constant that is not changing by the time okay if you see the line is straight so mean of this dependent variable remains approximately same and variance also remains same now let's have a look on the different image what you see over here is the line in the center represents to mean and this two blue line represents to the variance so mean is not constant if you see it is first it is trending it is showing you a trending pattern first it is increasing and then it is falling okay you can also consider it as a cyclical okay but what you see is variance that remains constant this increasing and falling line doesn't show that variance is not constant this is alongside the mean where you see the variance is constant okay variance is constant but the mean is not now let's have a, if it is confusing let's have a look on another image here what you see is mean is constant that means mean is stationary but the variance the top and bottom line are not constant you see initially it is more then it is reducing okay so that means the station uh, the variance is not stationary if we put all these three images together this is what we see the first one is stationary where mean and variance all both of these two things are traveling alongside the x-axis that means both of these two things remain constant by the time in the second one what what we see is the mean is non-constant constant but the variance remains constant so that means this is also not a stationary this one is also not a stationary 
By now, I hope that it is clear to you what stationarity is. In case if you have confusion, put that into the comment section. I'll explain it in a separate video. Moving forward, how to check the stationarity of data? How to specify, how to, you know, validate whether our data is stationary or not though by simply looking at the graph when you plot the graph and if you are able to there there are four patterns which we learned in the previous video those four patterns we find in the time series right so if you see i um, trending and cyclical trend or cyclical were to uh, trend cyclical and seasonality these were the components or tra uh, pattern in time series so if you see if the plot is either trending or it's seasonal then that means it's, it's stationary but still if you want to specify that more particularly how do you do that so for that there are two way um, mostly these two ways are used number one is adf what is adf sometimes it is also called adcf not sometimes some somewhere it is where you would find that it is also used as adcf but the meaning remains same which is augmented dicky fuller test now there is a wikipedia page for this you can check that out to have the detailed understanding i'll provide the link in the description section the uh, and this augmented dicky fuller test in this what we do is we completely deny the whatever the data is we completely say that the data is not stationary that's the null hypothesis we will take and then we will do this test which will specify or i mean this adf or adcf test either will reject or accept the null hypothesis right so in beginning we will set our mind that the data is not stationary and then we will do this test to specify whether the null hypothesis can be rejected or accepted then what is the output how do we specify this so out of this test we get these two value test statistics and critical values so if you get there are other values also which we get but primarily if you see test if test statistics is less than critical values you can clearly say that the data is not stationary okay i'm sorry here i made a mistake i should have to say if test statistics is less than critical values then we can say the data is stationary if it is not then the data is not stationary so basis on this we can either accept or reject the null hypothesis okay the second test is which we can perform is rolling statistics in this we simply take the rolling mean or rolling variance or standard deviation and we will plot that and this is the simplest one and provides the best clarity okay by visualization all right so now lots of talk let's go to the jupyter notebook and try to do this okay so first let's start with performing the rolling statistics what we can do is let's try to create a variable in our data frame let's call it roll mean and into that what we're gonna say is df dot passengers dot rolling and here you need to specify a window what does window means window means by how many months or by what time frame you want to roll the average now if you want to understand rolling mean or rolling statistics there is a separate video which i have created link i am giving in the description section you can just check that out if that clarifies it is okay if not let me know into the comment section i'll make a separate video so here i want to roll the average by 12 months okay so i'll simply say 12 and because here i'm going to create the mean so i'll just say mean this is the simplest way of doing this now there is another variable for standard deviation that i will create and i will say std and here i will just change it to std all right we are done simple now let's try to plot this okay so the first data set which we are going to plot is line plot and into this data equals to tf where on x-axis i am going to plot the on x-axis i will plot index because index is the column which has time right you see over here then the second one 
on y-axis I'm going to plot passengers on y-axis I will just say df dot passengers all right we're done so here it is exactly same what we got previously now let me specify the image size also plt dot figure and into that you can just say figure fix size and just okay, let's just give the dimension so that it will look little better now let's plot the mean also here i will just say sorry here i would say roll mean this variable okay now the next one i'm going to plot is standard deviation stt sorry this should be std no it should be roll std roll std this is all right so we are done over here now here what you see if you remember from the previous example here you see this line represents to the rolling mean this orange line represents to the rolling mean this green line represents to the standard deviation okay rolling standard deviation so what we see is standard deviation is approximately you know stationary the, the, that means it is approximately constant to the uh, timeline right but if you see the mean that is not stationary that means it is not constant it is trending roll uh, rolling uh, rolling mean is also showing the trending pattern trend pattern okay it is increasing by the time which means our data is not stationary now let's try to perform the second test which is nothing but the adf test okay which is which i just explained over here augmented dicky fuller test okay augmented dicky fuller test now let's see how can we do that so for that you need to import a module from statistical I would say stats models dot TSA dot stat tools import ADF AD filler. Okay, now we got it. Now let's create a data frame called ADF test. And over here, I'm just going to put AD filler and inside that i will take the variable which is nothing but passengers uh, how, if i can copy this yes it will be quick so here i put this and there is one more parameter which you need to pass on and that is this this one auto lag equals to aic this is default one which you need to pass over here no need to put much mind into it now this is done let's try to see what is the value that we are getting all right so we got this value but it is not clear what what does it represents to let me make it clear right so there are two segments you can see this one and this one so this is criticality and this is the statistics like test statistics p value and all those things so here i have noted it all down which will just put it i'll i'll just take it i'll just take this okay so for first exam first of all let me show you something okay so if you say this and if you slice this zero to four so this is what you are getting right this first segment okay now what are these values how would you know what are these values okay so for that i'm just going to convert it into a series so that it will be easy for us okay so let's just say stats stats equals to this and here i would say pd dot series and inside that i'm just going to say index whatever i have copied over here right i'll just put it and let's just print that stats you see over here whoop here the test statistics which we are getting is 0.81 right now let's see the criticality these are the criticalities okay so we just have to print that so for x you see this is a dictionary if you want to understand how to iterate through the dictionary i have a separate video just check that out okay for key and values in in we can say ad test filler ad adf test which we have created 
and into that we want to pick the fourth element dot items all right now let's just try to print key and values but this is again in the story again remains same so here i'm just going to say this and here i'm just going to say this i'm just trying to decorate it nothing else okay so criticality t all right now you see so criticality 1% 5% and 10% this is the interval so for 1% we are getting minus 3 minus 2 and minus 2 okay but see the condition says over here that test statistics should be less than critical values but the critical values which we are getting that is less than test statistics which means clearly our data is not stationary right so they hope this was clear to you now in the next video we will understand how to make this data stationary what are the ways to make it stationary okay i just hope that in this video we covered what stationarity is what are the types of the stationarity okay so types of, for types of stationarity it is nothing but let's say it, it could be seasonal stationarity it could be trained stationarity and all those things and we also covered how to check the stationarity in the data hope it was clear to you see in the next one thank you